Welcome back across Nevada to Face to Face. Mitt Romney is expected to get a big boost from here Saturday from Mormon voters, but Latter-day Saints don't vote in the block. Here to prove it, two Mormons for Ron Paul, Jesse Law and George Levitt. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. So why, why create a Mormons for Ron Paul? That's kind of shameless, isn't it? Aren't you going to get in trouble with the church for doing this? <laughs> Uh, no, actually the church really supports us to make our own decisions and to vote our conscience and I think that's why I'm voting for Ron Paul is because he speaks to my conscience, he, he speaks to my beliefs. In, in a way that Mitt Romney does not? Yeah. So I believe, tell me. I believe Ron Paul is much more conservative than Mitt Romney, both socially and economically and uh, I feel like he, he better fits you know, the candidate that I would want to support. His ideas are more than just his candidacy. And I think it is more in line with what I believe. What, what, what about you? Uh, I, I mean, do you get blowback from your Mormon friends saying, come on, you well, should be supporting Mitt Romney. We have a chance to get a Mormon in the White House. There's usually a, a, a funny smile uh, worn by some of the guys that I'll see like, oh, you know, what's he going to talk about this time? It's about messaging, though. I mean, uh, a lot of the people don't necessarily know that they do agree with Ron Paul a lot more. I mean, they want to believe in somebody like a Mitt Romney. But it's, the, you know, being enamored with uh, having something, uh, something familiar with your beliefs with somebody because of religion, maybe you think that they believe exactly like you do. The message needs to get out that it's not, he doesn't, he may share uh, the religious belief, but maybe not the political beliefs. And here in Nevada, I think we know all too well that not all Mormons do share conservative political beliefs. What does that mean? Well, that means that uh, Harry Reid is a classic example of somebody who How I... How did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I guess what I'd ask, though, is, is, is that both of you like Ron Paul because you think he's more conservative than, sure. than, than uh, Mitt Romney. But here's what a lot of people say about Ron Paul, and I've interviewed Ron Paul on this program, and he's a great guy to interview because you know what? Unlike most politicians, he's consistent. You, you can't catch him in an inconsistency as maybe you could Mitt Romney or even New, New, New Gingrich. But you know what most people say? The guy can't win. Come on, he's like your crazy uncle. You know, he, he, you've heard this. I'm yeah, not telling you anything. Yeah, he's, he's on, does that bother you at all? No, not at all. I feel, like, I feel like he's very electable. Mitt Romney has some good ideas, but it seems like what he's pushing is always, I have a program to fix a program. We've had enough programs in the government. Really, Ron Paul wants to take the government out of things and let the people fix the problems. And I believe that's what the majority of people want now, is to have their voice be heard and to make the necessary changes to make the economy recover. And, you know, I feel like Ron Paul is the candidate that will do that. He actually be matches up better to Obama because he is so much more different than Obama than say Mitt Romney because he's, Mitt Romney is also big government. You know, in, in speaking to electability, uh, who appeals better to independence? Well, Ron Paul appeals better than, to independence than Mitt Romney. So, so does the youth vote. Um, if you look at these national polls, yeah, Mitt's got an edge of about 1% over Paul, but hey, Paul's right there. And I think a lot of that uh, comes from, uh, if, if you examine the numbers, maybe some of the Republicans aren't so sure. But hey, you get him on the ticket on the, on the, as the front runner, you end up uh, with a lot of people turning it's out. Interesting. It's, it's kind of funny because you have this kind of grandfatherly, avuncular guy who the, all these young folks go to these rallies and they go crazy for Ron Paul. But talk about the Mormon community. I don't like to describe any community, as I mentioned, as monolithic. But sure. where do you think Mormons really are? I mean, I'm sure you have. I mean, are, are you both observant? Do you go, do, 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 do you go to yeah. temple? You do. Yeah. And do, do, do you, do you have your friend? I mean, do you sense that Mitt Romney has overwhelming support in the Mormon community? Tell the truth. Okay, uh, I would say yes for those who aren't really examining the issues. Because as soon as you get the people examining the issues, and again, that's why I say messaging. As soon as they start looking at the issues seriously, well, then they start to second guess. Because they may, hey, it's a fallback, maybe going to Mitt. But as soon as they realize that you know the, the natural moms, the young moms with all the kids and the homeschooling that maybe they're interested in, Ron Paul appeals so well to those family values. Well, so we are out of time. So if, if Ron Paul does not win, it's because your messaging has been off and convincing these people. Is that correct, sir? <laughs> no, that's not <laughs> it at all. I really appreciate your willingness to come on. Good luck to your candidate on Saturday, too. Thank you, Thank you very much, Sean.